Welcome to RECA Subtest 3 Online Test Preparation Course presented by RECATest.com. The RECA Test content specifications share three ways to organize and manage reading instruction to meet the needs of all of your learners. These include use flexible grouping, individualized instruction, and whole class instruction. Flexible grouping is when the teacher creates small groups based on assessment. It's called flexible because the groups change as the students progress. Let's take an example. Here we have our student, Sally. Sally might have started in a struggling readers group. However, as she works hard, she can work her way into a new group. And as she does, the teacher will regroup her based on her current set of reading abilities and needs by collecting and analyzing data through her assignments. Furthermore, there are two types of flexible grouping. The first, homogeneous grouping, which includes students with the same reading need and abilities. Homogeneous groups work best when the text being read caters to one level of reader. The second type of flexible grouping is heterogeneous which includes students with a mixture of reading abilities. Heterogeneous grouping is best used when the text caters to a variety of reading levels, such as in Reader's Theater, where one character's lines might either be easier to read or simply have fewer lines to read. Next, we have individual instruction, and this is used for students who are particularly showing a hard time meeting a standard. Lastly, we have whole class instruction, and this is used for introductions to units or lessons or as an initial lesson for a broad reach. In order to organize and manage reading instruction that meets the needs of all of our learners, teachers use the California State Board of Education adopted materials to make grade level content accessible to all students. The California SBE is a set of teaching materials that includes mathematics, English language, arts, history, social studies, science, world languages, health, visual, and performing arts. For your RECA test, you'll simply want to know that this organization exists and that we use these core materials for instruction, but it will be the position of your educational administrator to purchase and provide these materials for you. Teachers effectively manage reading instruction by grouping students within one of three categories. Let's talk about organization and managing instruction now. First, we have benchmark. Students placed within this category need differentiated lessons and further small group instruction. They do not need different or additional resources in order to help them meet the standard. The second category is strategic. Students placed into the strategic category need more help than the benchmark group. These children are often more than a year behind their peers, but not more than two years behind. Reteaching grade level standards won't work for these students as the need for intervention goes back even further. Additional resources should be used with students in a strategic group, and if available, a teacher's assistant or helper should work one-to-one -one with these students to work towards meeting and reaching the student's needs and goals. The third group is the intensive group. And these students are often reading at levels more than two years behind grade level standards. These students need considerable help and they will need the most amount of support and differentiation through the use of one-to-one -one intervention while learning from supplementary materials. Feeling nervous about taking your RECA test? Click the link in the description below, get full access to this RECA test prep course, and start feeling prepared for test day.